Hello and welcome back to Fleur's de Montaigne today. Uh, I'm going to repair some rhinestone jewelry and at the same time I'll show you how you could harvest some rhinestones from like an old piece. Um, it's the same concept. I'm actually going to repair both of these pieces. I have this vintage key. I think it's rhodium plated and it has a lot of wear. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see. Missing a lot of rhinestones. So I'm going to not only show you how to replace the stones, but also kind of cover up where the plating's missing and we will use these deco color premium paint pens uh, these are oil based and metallic I would not use these on anything gold plated um, it's not the same material, you know, there's no actual gold or silver in these. So I would only use these for costume, you know, fashion jewelry. Um, that's fairly inexpensive. And I have my rhinestones for this piece. Um, this is a vintage panel bracelet. It has these glass star sapphire uh, cabochons it's a very very unique cabochon I'm glad they're all there this would be a little more difficult to find and replace and I love that they're faceted right around the edge so it's got let's see one two three little sapphire rhinestones there. I'm going to take them all out. Actually, all of them I'm going to take out, including the cabochons, because there is some yellowing from probably the glue that was used. So I'm going to scrape off the old glue and yeah, some of the plating will probably come off, but I will touch it up with this silver pen. The back looks pretty good. So all in all, this one has got the clasp and everything. It does have a broken, where was it at? right here a broken star point but I still think it's worth saving and if you are not sure if you have any rhinestones to replace one I would recommend you can buy replacement rhinestones on eBay Etsy um, they have a lot of vintage stock rhinestones that you could use to replace, you know, older pieces and you wanted to keep with, you know, all old components. Um, you can buy vintage new stock. You could also buy newer ones, which I believe these are, they're silver backed, so I'm not sure what, what brand these are. Um, but I specifically bought these for another um, for another piece, but I think the AB will look really pretty with this bracelet. And if you want to figure out what size you need, I would recommend getting these calipers. These are to measure beads, rhinestone sizes. And it will show you the millimeters and also inches and centimeters down here. 
and it has this digital um, spot right here. So, for instance, I know these are four, but if I measure them, let me do it right here, the flat surface. It's a little finicky. It says 3.9, super close. So I know these are four. Um, you could also measure, measure the opening. So about like that. And I know a four one would work. So those stones would be a good fit. You can also use a ruler. If you have really good eyesight, you could use a ruler, and I have used one. You can see that there, that's about four millimeters. So I like the calipers, makes it a lot, a lot easier. To set the rhinestones, we are going to use GS Hypo Cement. Sorry, I have that taped over. You can't read it. Um, this is like a metal tube, so I was pressing it and it busted and I had to tape it. But it has a pinpoint precision. Helps you get in very tiny places. And this cement is so strong. It's clear. I highly recommend using this. It also has some fumes, so I would recommend being in a well ventilated area or wear a mask. To pick up the rhinestones, you can use this jewel picker by Marby. Um, I got this from someone who used it, so the rubber ends are really scratched up, so I don't really use it as much. It's got dual ended. It's got a bare point there. What I use is I've used needles, toothpicks, or whatever and put sticky tack on the end. Um, you can use other things that are sticky um, and it easily picks up your rhinestone. Um, I highly recommend using this point pointed craft tool to get rhinestones out of settings. These you get a two pack at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty five. Super cheap. Highly recommend getting these. I think I went over all the tools, so now we will start. with this. So I already took out the stone there because I wanted to see how this would look and how it would go. So you want to be careful, especially with glass. You don't want to chip it. Just find somewhere you could wedge this into Hold, kind of hold the piece gently with your thumb. You don't want it flying out. And just kind of be careful not to damage the setting. It might take a little, little getting used to doing this. All right, I got that under there. We popped it out. It's got a little glue. You can scrape it off. I also recommend using some kind of wipe, like a baby wipe, to maybe clean off your stone if it's dirty. Um, it will not harm that. So this, you can see here, has a lot of old glue. You can also use this tool to pick out and get this glue off. 
course, if you've got nails, that works as well. So I'm actually going to finish taking all these stones out and getting the glue out and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back to show um, how to get these rhinestones out. As you can see, I've got everything out except for these two. And when I, well, let's see, I'll show you. So you wanna get the little point around the edge of the rhinestone. And see it pop right out and I think I lost it but this one I also popped out earlier you can see the full backing came off now uh, here's the back um, you can't reuse these but the foil backing on rhinestones really help to make these rhinestones shine. Um, you can see here the foil backing is left in the setting. So, because these are open back, I want to poke through there and get rid of the get rid of the foil that's left. You can see here I took the cabochon out and it took the plating off with it, which is fine because when I put the stone back in, you're really not gonna see in here, but you will see the edges, so you will see how I touch that up. So I'm gonna take this one out. You can see it's got some yellowing around the edge. That's from the glue. It ages and yellows over time. There we go, popped out. I can save these, but again, you really will probably want to use the foil back depending on what what you're using them for like for these you definitely want to use the foil back all right now it is ready to have a touch up and put the settings back in so we have the bracelet ready to go we've taken out rhinestones and the beautiful cabochons we have here and there's a lot of yellowing from the glue it's kind of stained the plating um, I don't there's a little bit of glue here I don't want to remove the plating I want to just kind of do a touch up with this. It's oil based. You have to shake it up. And you have to press down to let the ink come to the tip. Now, I've already used this and it puddles a lot so you might want to get a paper towel and kind of dab a lot of the ink off so we just get our piece and we start kind of coloring over And doesn't that look so much better? It also gives it more dimension. Now it is puddling up a little more than I'd like to, but um, 
you can keep blotting it, but I don't know. Maybe mine just kind of bleeds out a lot. But I'm just going to get edges here. Let's zoom in to see how those look compared to these. Now, I'm not going to color in this whole inside setting. I'm just going to do the edges because some of the plating came off. And I should have been more careful. I made a little nick here and here from using the needle to pop out the cabochon. So just be careful. You don't want to mess up the, the setting around it like I did. It's not too bad. It's not too noticeable. So just keep touching up like this. Uh, I'm just going to go where it's where I see some yellowing and around the edges here and you will have to let this dry uh, I don't remember what the packaging say I would at least wait an hour because it will be tacky for a little bit and it's oil based it's not which is not very quick drying so I will finish this up and we will come back and the next step will be to put the rhinestones and the glass cabochons back. Okay, I have let this paint pen dry on here and it actually didn't take too long, more like five, 10 minutes. You can just test and kind of dab it and make sure there's no no residue, so it should be fine to set the stones in. So I am going to first put these glass cabochons back in. I made sure that they're clean. There's no glue. I made sure there's no glue here in the settings because it will make it uneven. Now, here's my handmade little jewel picker up upper. I use some sticky tack and like a craft toothpick. Again, you can use the jewel picker by Marvy. That's another good one. So I am going to stick the stone on here. We're going to take the GS Hypo Cement and I'm going to do the inner edge and the outer edge. We're going to zoom in so you can see. squeezing this out and a very little bit comes out but I'm going to need a good bit of glue now I find this to be the best to use I'm not going to say you know only use this there is other glues to use I believe it's E6000 um, that's another good craft glue I also have Gorilla Glue Gel. I do not recommend using that. It leaves this white powdery residue after it dries. And I have to go back and clean it off with alcohol. It's just kind of a pain. So. That should be good. We're going to 
pink a bracelet. Stick it right in there. Use your fingernail. You can also use like, I can use the back of this stick to like press down. Um, but since this is such a big stone, I can just press down with my fingers. That looks pretty good. I want to make sure that there's enough around the edge keep it in place because that's where it's touching the setting. Now when I took this out you you could see where the glue was. There was a lot just right around the edges here. Um, but that should be good enough. Now I'm going to show you how to put the rhinestones in. So I will also say that it may just be better to have your piece laying down and then add the glue and then you can set the stones because you will um, need to let this sit just a few seconds um, to, so it becomes tacky and the rhinestone will actually stick to the glue. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm actually keeping my piece down on the table instead of handling it. Then moving on to the next setting. Putting some more glue down. And then I think that's good. I'll go ahead and set these and then these will be tacky by the time I get to it. And then I'll just continue on this way. And I think this is better than actually holding your piece because you'll get glue on you, move stones and not mean to. So yeah, try this out. Now, if you had a very small, um, Something like this might be better to just hold on to. But this I found to be a better way. So we'll be back whenever I get all these stones finished in place. Now, while that bracelet is drying, I do want to do some touch-ups on this brooch. I'm not going to replace the rhinestones yet. I don't have the ones that I would like to use, so I'm gonna just leave those blank. But I wanted to show these really tarnished areas. And I'm taking this Deco Color Oil Base Marker to touch it up. Now this marker is not a very yellow gold color. It is more lighter, like this brooch. And I'm just going to touch up the ends where the plating is gone. And that looks so much better already. Now, this one's pretty tarnished around the clasp. I really am not going to be able to get in all the crevices in there. But I just wanted to show you how the color works would look on this brooch and it looks a lot better already it was really tarnished on these ends here excuse my nails now I want to do this other end but I'm going to have to let this dry 
first because I'll have to touch this end and then I will finish it up. But I just wanted to show you how well this pen works. Both of them, the silver and the gold, work on costume jewelry. Again, uh, not to be used with like actual gold plated jewelry. Um, typically, the color's not going to match up. Uh, and also, too, this doesn't have gold, and this doesn't have real silver. So, just wanted to share with these um, tools with you. They are very helpful. And next, I will show you the final reveal on the bracelet.